how's the team doing? Well, Clint said he's doing good, so we'll see. Uh, he thinks he can play about 15, 20 plays if he can. He'll help us a lot. Did he practice fully tonight? No, he didn't. We're going to hold him to the ball. What's the playing contact? Uh, he'll play um, spur and uh, play uh, the dime linebacker spot and the dime package. Your spur suggested last night that he thought he might move just because Antonio played so well and might never come off the field. If y'all thought anything along the same lines? Well, again, you know, if we play as many plays as we played last night, the last, uh, this past Saturday, we're going to need more than Antonio. Antonio got cramps, and uh, we'll do, that's why we moved the martyr out there, so the one time I have a chance to play. Coach, is it a little bit of a relief, I guess, to be facing a more traditional offense this week instead of really getting it from one? Well, no question. You know, George is going to play some small football. We're going to play action fashion, throw it deep, and, you know, we we got to accept that challenge, and it'll be good not to be spread out a lot, but, again, you still got a chance to they give a big place if you don't, you're not sounding your coverage. How tough was the last six weeks of Monte Hall, do you think? Well, I think it's real tough. I think, you know, a lot for a young man to go through. I think, you know, that's, uh, you know, he made a bad decision and he had to pay for it. And, uh, you know, again, you, you know, I guess as the, my older family used to say, you reap what you sow. But again, you know, Devontae is a good kid and, and he'll bounce back and, and he'll be a, you know, positive influence for us right now and he'll be a, uh, a positive player for us on the field, I believe. Got some bounce in this step this week that you uh, had to say in the last month. Well, sure. I mean, again, he's fresh. Uh, he, you know, he didn't, hadn't played a lot, and, you know, because we wasn't playing, you know, we didn't give him a lot of reps in practice early. So, you know, he should be fresh, and hopefully he's ready to play. How is he as far in terms of mileage? If he hadn't had as many reps as some of the other guys, is he 100% there yet? Oh, yeah, I think he's 100 He knows what we're doing. And, uh, you know, Devontae's a smart young man, and, so and he understands what we're doing in his first position. Can you talk about Stephon Gilmore's performance on Saturday night? Was it under was it under par? Was it not up to par in your for your standards or his? Well, of course it's not up to par for his standards. You know, you know, anytime you go with two jump balls and and uh, you're capable of making a play, you know, and you know, being the, the caliber player that Stephon is, you gotta make those plays and he knows it. And uh, you know, I, I fully expect Stephon to bounce back and have a great ball game this week. Do you feel like it was better execution on the offensive side, or was it really more of a mistake on his part? Well, it, it became down to a technique, uh, especially the first touchdown. Uh, he should have looked for the ball earlier, and he didn't. And then he looked at the last second, and now the ball's up on you. So uh, he knew he made a mistake. He uh, talked about it when he came to the sideline. And then he just got too far over the top of the, the second uh, play and missed time to jump. But you know, you saw him the third time he threw the same jump ball at him, and he went up real hot. You know, he attacked the ball in there, and so. He knows what he got to do. Other than what? the jump balls, did he play well? Did he do oh, yeah. Else? Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Other than the jump balls, and those, those other than you're in, in dropping it to the punt. But, right. You know, uh, and especially in that category. And, you know, Stefan got to be a positive uh, for this team if we're going to be good. And DJ the same way. And so that's what I told both uh, of them today. You know, if we're going to be good in secondary, those two got the most experience. They got to play well. DJ at one point was going to return some kicks. I saw he was not out there. Did you tell him, I don't have enough safeties for you to put him out there? Uh, no question. That's why we, we changed the decision not to, to let, uh, let him return kicks because, again, you know, if he get hurt playing special team, you know, then we don't have another safety that we can count on to play 75 plays. And so, we, we, you know, we're giving up that duty until we get some depth. To, you know, get some depth. Coach, with a team like ECU that gets the ball out so quickly, I mean, is it a, is it a discipline issue when it comes to the safeties or maybe the corners playing press and wanting to jump some of those quick routes and, and maybe get, get an interception here or there? Is that something that y'all teach them to kind of be more disciplined about and not take those chances? Is that, you know, do you want to kind of stay back or do y'all ask them? You know, well, again, we have plays? a game plan and uh, we expect them to execute the game plan. And the game plan uh, this past week was to, to make three deep and man free look the same. And if you, the only way you can do that is by playing it off. So. Uh, and that's what we did, and that's the game plan we took. And, and uh, you know, other than a few plays down the field, I thought we, you know, we, we played okay, and we, we did a good job tackling them when they made the catches. And, uh, and then, you know, but giving up the, the couple of big pass plays to hand on DJ and then the jump balls to Stefan, you know, made it look a little worse. Did you say other than the short field that they had off the turnovers, you were fairly pleased with the second year? Well, we, we've got a lot of work to do. I mean, we, we by no means are anywhere close to where we want to be, but, you know, I, you know, in, in the tradition of the history of football, I think you see the most improvement from your first game to your second game. We've got to definitely improve a lot to uh, if we're going to be the caliber team that we plan on be. How much of a challenge will Aaron Murray and his receivers be this weekend? It'll be a great challenge. You know, Aaron got a strong arm, they got speed at receivers, and you know, they got a great tight end that can get down the field and catch the ball. So, you know, we've got a big challenge to go. Coach Murray was impressed with Sissy Woodlock after you watched the family. Were you as impressed? Uh, CC played well. CC tackled better, and that's something that he hadn't been doing. He had one missed tackle, but he tackled better in open field, and you know uh, he had a couple mill busts that we got to correct. But 
uh, it played well for CC than, than he's been playing in the past, so he, he, he did well. Looked like you guys moved Gilmore off of Lance Lewis and put Whitlock on him in the third quarter, so was that just a schematic thing, or did you just think he'd seen enough of Lewis? No, it was just uh, the way we lined up. If it was going to hurt up, we are going to play right and left, so gotcha. it was just depending on where the receiver lined up. You know, this week, you'll see Steph lined up in the boundary, because George is not a hurry up offense, and CC will beat you the field.